Hey, on this Beer Guys TV brewcast, we're going to talk about a bloody orange we are. Yeah, it's right here from Jack Pine. It's on the Brew Beer Guys TV brewcast, coming up. If you're looking for serious, in-depth beer information, well, you're listening to the wrong show. But if you want fun and entertaining beer information, you've come to the right place. It's another Beer Guys TV podcast. Everybody do this. It's cold. It's cold. It's bloody on. It's a bloody on, you know. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, they'll watch you. That'll, that'll come back to haunt us. Yes, probably. Okay. We ready? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, welcome to this Beer Guys TV brewcast from the studio in Glencoe, Minnesota. Greg Johnson along with Shane Zeppelin, Chad Zeppelin, hey. and Brenton L. A oh, no. Well, <laughs> you, you shaved your beard. You look a lot different. <laughs> look like it's a Carol. Girl. <laughs> Hiya, Carol. Yeah. <laughs> Brenton's here, though. Hi, he's Brent. A, he's in the studio audience. Yeah. yeah. He nods hey. his head. Yeah. Who else is out here? Jerry, like Jerry W. Cook is here. Hey, it's me. <laughs> and, and Dale Nelson. Hey, Dale. <laughs> See, we got we got all kinds of fans here. Hey, welcome to this brewcast. We're going to be talking about a beer that you brought our way uh -huh. from Jack Pine Brewing in Baxter, Minnesota. Yes. Up north, you know. Well, north from us. Yeah, absolutely. South yeah, from north of them. Yeah, it's south of Canada. <laughs> We know our geography around here at Beer Guys TV. So, uh, well, tell us briefly about this, Shane. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Give us all the details. All the details. Uh, well, we visited Jack Pine a few uh, weeks when ago. When you say we, we, who's uh, we? My brother. I was and not my there. You weren't. You mean that guy? Yeah, this guy. Oh, that character there. Yeah. The bearded we went. dude. We went. We visited uh, the brewery and we met the owner. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. Um, and. His name's uh, Patrick, and now it's just left my head. Patrick just left Pat, my head. Patrick Sunberg. Patrick Sunberg. Sunberg. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Good recall. Yeah. yeah. Good job. And so uh, we, of course, talked about the brewery a little bit, and he gave me a behind-the-scenes tour. Well, that's always fun. Yeah, we, we can even show some of the clips while we're doing some brewcasting, podcasting. Oh, fun. Yeah. It's a new brewery they built. They actually moved from the original brewery, which actually we took the GPS and, and it brought us to the original address. Oh. Right? And, and, and then, of course, I get chewed out because, well, your GPS is wrong. Well, it's, no, it's not. It's, it's right here. This is the address, right? <laughs> then somebody else's GPS gave them the same address. Oh, yeah. you were justified. But we did, and, uh, we did find them. Duck, duck pond, dead branch, fence. They all say so, so they have, a, they have on the crawlers, they, they, they can check which one it is. Yeah, and they can as you buy. So it's That's not like they have it. a bunch. Oh, it's, it's fresh. Yeah, so it's Ooh. super fresh yeah. from the tap into the can, and then they put the label, label on, so, and they right. have their mainstays that they will check off. Gotcha. This happens to be a blood orange. Mm, that sounds tasty. Yeah, yeah. which, uh, you know what, while you pour. Okay, you can give us a little info. Yeah, some, some, I'm going to Some ABVs and IBUs on. and... Specific ABCs. gravities and, and member <laughs> FDIC and TGIF. I'll look up their website here, Jack. Oh, Pine every brewery. time I open a crawler, I get a bath of beer. Well, it's extra full. It is. They do Ooh. fill them up. Ooh. Young lady. Oh, geez, Sorry. you're gonna ruin the. I know. Tire. Taking out yeah. the taking out yeah. the system. Here. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's kind of pinkish. Yeah, it is. Doesn't look as bloody. No, as it doesn't an look should. like a bloody orange. It does. <laughs> Pass the glass. Mm. Pass yes, those glasses. We gotta save some for our studio audience. Oh yeah. I know Linda and Davey out there want some. Mm. The beer. Bet you Jerry does the too. Beer. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Oh. There we go. La dee dee. Thank you. No, no, I gotta be careful. I'm over poor because I think now there's some thirsty folks out there. Interesting that uh, Jack Pine this year in 2019 did a cotton candy beer. Oh, I think I read that on the yeah. internet. Yeah. And then that was kind of sent all over the the head. The carny circuit. Well, <laughs> it was sent over <laughs> in the Minneapolis. There's there's some on tap. There was uh, a lot of cans, and he. Wasn't going to sell us a crawler of it. And then I said, well, can we buy one of these six packs? He says, every one of them is sold. Really? Yeah. But Did because we are the beer guys. You got a chance to taste it? <laughs> well, we got a crawler of it. What? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Yeah. But in any case, Dude, uh, we didn't go. It yeah. tasted like cotton candy. It was it, it, unbelievable. It was delicious. Yeah. Wow. wow. Uh, so, some beer taste. purists would go, ah, oh, it sounds horrible. No, but you don't well, put that stuff yeah. in beer. Yeah. But it's like, if you like it, why not? He he did mention that um, every year they brew a candy beer for Valentine's. Oh, week interesting. Or whatever. So isn't that sweet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just so like he, you. Oh, yeah. He challenged the, his brewers to come up with a uh, with a beer, and they had tried all kinds of different ones with the cotton candy one. Tastes like you went to the county fair and got a cotton candy. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Brought back my now this, so, so what do you got for stats on this? Okay, uh, you know, the this page is not coming up very well. It This is their dead branch uh, cream ale infused with oh. uh, uh, blood orange. We've had the uh, dead branch before. Yes, and then they uh, this actually the dead branch is kind of their uh, base beer. Okay. Then they... The Vengeance Jalapeno. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've done that one. Jerry remembers that one. Yeah, the Jalapeno uh, beer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he couldn't wait to leave. So they'll use they'll use the dead branch as their kind of a base beer, and then they'll... You might want to get out of here. ...throw flavors at it. So, in fact, I think the cotton candy was that as well. So so what's the uh, numbers on the base beer? Yeah, well, I'm getting oh, there. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll put you I'm, in the spot. I'm there. getting there. It's... Uh, He's a producer, folks. Yeah. I know. Yeah. This website's not... Reception. ...come up very well on my... <laughs> No, no, it's it's not I very. I'm using my iPad, but you yeah, should so you, be. But well, see, you're, yours you're, looks you're, like you're, it's off. Oh, uh, and uh, uh, powered off. I tell you, when we went to Jack Pine, they had a ton of people there really? just on your average Saturday afternoon. It was a great place. Uh, people, you know, kind of intermingling with each other and got Inter to intermingling. Got to, in, intermingling yeah but uh i mean people just kind of you know walking up eh, what's what's beer guys all about and and so oh. on and so forth it was it was nice oh, to meet good. a lot of different new so people was, that, yeah. you know mm -hmm. we've never met before but yeah i mean the place was just packed super great atmosphere hmm. uh, i've heard good things about the brewery from other people from even other brewers have sent they have been got yeah. if you're ever up that way check out jack Pine. so yeah. that's a good sign they have porters and stuff of course, we've. Oh yeah, they've, oh, yeah. they've got quite a few uh, different beer on tap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to check a different site here and see if we can find out what's going on. Well, you want to do a break? Yeah, let's do a break while I'm checking this we'll out. We'll come back with some stats. Do a tasting. I want to taste. Uh, uh, yeah, it sounds yeah. good. We'll be back with uh, more from uh, Jack Pine Brewing in Baxter, Minnesota, right after this. How's that? Sounds good to me. Good. Cool. Beer Guys TV brings you beer reviews and beer-related information in a fun and clean, entertaining way. Our website is a combination of beer articles, reviews, products, videos, and now podcasts, too. And you can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Check those out. Please take a moment to visit our sponsors as well and tell them that you heard about them or saw them right here on Beer Guys TV. That will allow us to continue to bring you entertaining beer reviews and other fun stuff your way. And remember to enjoy your beer in moderation, never drink and drive, and always use a designated driver. That way you'll be around to enjoy more beer tomorrow. Hey, thanks for listening. And now, back to the show. And welcome back to this Beer Guys TV brewcast from Glencoe, Minnesota. And uh, we are again talking about a beer from Jack Pine Brewing in Baxter, Minnesota. It is their blood orange uh, um, Based off their dead branch, which is their basic uh, cream ale. Cream ale, yeah. yeah. So, um, okay. Well, did you find some numbers? I did. What do you got? Well, according to Untapped, yes, uh, they show that it's four point six ABV. Okay, so very it's sessionable. Very sessionable, very light, and ten IBUs. So I mean, okay, yeah, it's real. Yeah, which you would, you know, once you taste it, yeah, subtle you know. if nothing for hops. Easy, Jer. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> you too, Daryl. Uh, okay, so uh, should we do the old Beer Guys TV rating? We'd Let's rate do that. It, uh, buy it, try it, or skip it, and it's just our opinion. And uh, Chad, what do you say? Throw it on you there, buddy. I'll start her out. Okay. Yeah. Definitely a light beer. Yep. Um, I am a light beer drinker. Um, I like them a little bit lighter, a little bit crispier. Um, <laughs> I enjoy my, my mainstreams as well. <clears throat> but I, I like it. 
Um, it's it's not the blood orange or hits you with a, a orange peel or, or anything like yeah. that. Um, it's a little bit, mm, I want to say a bland blood orange, if you want to say. And when I say bland, I don't mean it in a negative way. It's just a nice sipping, uh, easy, light beer. Um, so, I guess on a rating, uh, I would I would give it a, uh, depending on your beer style, I would... No, it's all about you now. Yeah, well, what do you like? Well, what do you like? What I like? I'd, I'd buy it. All right. Yeah. It's a buy it from the chatter. Yeah. All right. Should we move to the young lady on the far end? Yes. All right, Carol Ann, what do you think about this beer? Now, I know you're kind of a porter and started kind of a bigger, heavier beer yeah. and uh, that kind of stuff. So what do you think of this? Hey, you call it the way you drink it. Okay. Call it the way you taste it. It smells wonderful. Um, I would say it smells more orange than it tastes. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we just heard that it's... it's like you said, bland, but that not in a bad way. It's just a very light orange. We've had some other um, blood oranges that are more pungent. Pungent. Yeah. Uh, it's very light, um, and like you just said, I kind of tend to have like the heavier beers, so I would skip it. That's my opinion. Oh, Carol. Oh, sorry. A skip it from <laughs> Carol Ann. Sorry. Hey, hey, again, hey, we call them the way we taste them. So total opposite. Yeah. 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 So, all right. Um, for me, uh, it is very light. It's kind of kind of thin, or uh, mm. uh, not a lot of body going on there. It uh, it to me, it smells better than it tastes. Um, it, it probably on a summer day, it might be a good quick thirst quencher. Uh, at four point six, you can have a couple of these, no problem. The ten IBUs are very negligible. Uh, you know, we've had a bunch of Jack Pine beers. I think I, I like some of their other beers better personally. And maybe just a straight cream ale for me. Uh, there's something about it leaves a little bit of a weird bitterness at the end. Um, eh, a light try it for me. I guess it's it's something different. Give it a try if you like the lighter lighter beers like like Chad, and, and that's fine. Uh, but for me, yeah, I try it. All right. So you, Mr. Zeppelin? Well, I kind of concur with you. Um, I the aroma to me smells like the orange rind. Mm. Not so much the peel, but the white part on the inside. Of the oh, mm -hmm. I see. That's where the aroma comes from, and it's not a bad aroma. I mean, it tastes good. That's yeah. Um, and I, I, you know, I do like orangish, uh, a hint of orange in, in beer as well. Mm -hmm. But this one, being a cream ale, it's yeah, cream ales aren't always my favorite. But I think in a, a hot summer day, it would go, it would go great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm a try it as well, but for those reasons that I just simply. Like the more bodied, heavier bodied beers. Sure. Um, but the the backbone of this, the cream ale, um, and I haven't had the straight up cream ale, but I, the backbone might be all right. But I do like the hint of the orange. I, I will say I do like this better than the Vengeance, yeah, the jalapeno yeah, yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And too. that was a good. That was a good one. I mean, that one's yeah. uh, good. Goes with the uh, tacos and yeah, and uh, you know Mexican food and fair. But this one here, this is a, a salad beer. A salad beer. Yeah, this, this would go with <laughs> a light go, salad with the little uh, mandarin oranges in it oh, sure. sprinkle yeah. around. And I don't even like salads. But Sliced almonds. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. this is this is one up, up your alley more so, I think. But. <laughs> you guys shush out there. Right. Thanks. That's all right. That's all right. But uh, although we did see a picture of you on uh, Facebook <laughs> eating a couple of steaks and lobsters, I don't know what that was all about. Hey, I was on vacation. <laughs> vacation from yourself or what? <laughs> I thought, hey, I'll, I'll see what the other side lives like. I was sick for a week. I just oh, want yeah? you to know. But anyway, again, uh, she made I, I try it. No. Okay, I try it. So we got we got to buy it, a uh, couple of light triads, and a skip it. So hey, hey, we're all over the board. You check it out. Let us know what you think. And you might like it more or less. It's, it's all part of the fun, craft beer. So, anyway, uh, that's going to wrap it up for this uh, uh, Jack Pine Beer Guys TV Brewcast from Glencoe, Minnesota. For Shane, Chad, Carol, I'm Greg, and until next time, beers to ya! Beer Guys TV reminds you to drink responsibly. Never drink and drive and always use a DD.
Be sure to expand your beer list by trying something different. Remember to check out BeerGuysTV.com and find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Thanks for listening to this Beer Guys TV podcast. Sponsor messages you hear on our podcast are paid endorsements unless otherwise stated. These messages help us bring Beer Guys TV to you. We encourage you to support our sponsors so that we may continue to provide quality entertainment and information. Our reviews are honest opinions. Your opinion and taste may vary. We encourage you to try beers and products for yourself and form your own opinions. We'd love to hear from you. Tell us what beer you like and send us your suggestions for us to review. You can contact us at BeerGuysTV at gmail.com. I would be yeah, like, yeah. I don't even like hot dog water, but I uh, actually like it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. You know, what's wrong with hot dog water? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Who eats hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Bring me a salad. I cook the hot dogs in water and dump the hot dogs and just drink right out of the